Greetings from Filter Concept. Crude oil is used to create a whole host of products, including plastic bottles, pens, fertilizers, clothes, and many more. While swatting about the oil industry, you realize that it is a substance that is in most products. Oil refineries create different types of oil and petroleum products to satisfy consumer wants. By understanding the role of oil, you can appreciate the importance of market demand. As such, oil acts as an important driving force in the global economy. Oil refineries are therefore required to be adaptive and dynamic so they can meet their uses spanning across a variety of industries. With the concept of catering solutions to the operational problems caused due to the lack of an optimal filtration system. We address these problems in our episodes subsequently with a brief idea about each process and then later provide a uniquely designed filtration solution. In this video, we will be discussing the details of the catalytic reforming process. The catalytic reforming process is one of the conversion processes which uses the molecular rearrangement method for converting long-chain hydrocarbons into short-chain hydrocarbons. The key application is to increase the octane number of the feed and convert light crude fractions having high paraffin and naphthene contents into aromatics. It is an important refining process as it produces products with high octane value as well as it produces hydrogen gas as a byproduct. The reforming process transforms low-octane, straight-run naphtha fractions, particularly heavy naphtha which is rich in naphthenes, into high-octane, low-sulfur reformate, which is a major blending product for gasoline. In the catalytic reforming process, the naphtha feedstock is mixed with hydrogen, vaporized, and passed through a series of alternating furnaces and reactors containing the catalyst. The effluent from the last reactor is cooled and sent to a separator to remove the hydrogen-rich gas stream from the top of the separator for recycling. The liquid product from the bottom of the separator is sent to a fractionator called a stabilizer. The stabilizer makes the bottom product called reformate. Lighter compounds go overhead and are sent to the saturated gas plant. The catalytic reforming process uses catalysts such as platinum, PT, palladium, PD or, in some cases, a bimetallic formulation of platinum with iridium or rhenium and alumina. These catalysts are expensive as well as valuable. The catalyst is used as a medium for the reforming reaction to take place. Its activity determines how efficiently the process will work. If the catalyst activity is too low, it will take longer for the desired reaction to take place. If the catalyst activity is too high, it can lead to unwanted side reactions, which can compromise the quality of the product. Processes without adequate filtration could result in contamination of feedstock, catalyst poisoning, and many other operational problems. Therefore, to avoid any such challenges, optimal filtration should be incorporated. Having provided such filtration solutions for decades, Filter Concept is well positioned to serve the industry. Whether for water, oil, air, or gas filtration, our team is equipped to tackle any challenges you may have, giving you the customized filtration solution you need. Get in touch with us to get your queries resolved at inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or ENGG at the ratefilter-concept.com. Your feedback will be highly appreciated. Thank you.